we say good morning good evening and <laughs> jai sri ram so i guess <laughs> you know me better <laughs> that is how we start our class <laughs> and uh, you are quite familiar with this even jai hind so we guess you remember and some people have requested for uh, talking a road map for 2024 yes it is difficult to meet each and that every student those who have been especially part of our foundation batch public administration so i decided to have uh, a short let's say that key session on this uh, road map for 2024 it is unfortunate that uh, some students are not going to qualify and it is quite uh, regrettable and uh, you know you remember regrettingly so it is quite regrettable and uh, yes no amount of let's give whatever we can say it can uh, console you that is how i say and uh, ultimately you have to uh, take this bitter pill and uh, you have to move ahead so if you are not making through this year 2023 so let's have a road map for 2024 especially for public administration and those who have been our uh, ex let's say students or foundation batch public administration so you can be from october batch you can be from june batch and uh, if you are not making through this so what should be your strategy for next uh, one year so that you do not face the same situation and uh, at the same time you retain what you have been taught so let's see that what we can see we can divide uh, the road map the strategy so see the strategy cannot be separated from gs now so basically let's give your strategy should be linked to prelims and then it should be linked to mains this and given uh, we say that it is we generally i now a day say upsc 20 because given the nature of paper if you see this your prelims now you cannot uh, study prelims uh, prepare prelims just october november onwards in fact if you remember in our class we used to say at times that ki nowadays it is very difficult to uh, focus on prelims only towards the end of uh, you can say <laughs> towards end of the year october november january etc you can see the level of paper and uh, on that basis especially if you see the csat paper also paper 1 also so you have to go for a year long program this year long program that is how we say it. even if you find that ki we told you tucker program that we have also initiated and the idea behind this is that ki yes year long means you cannot separate it now so your program cannot be separated we cannot separate it that's why i am trying to focus on this although one day i will talk only on this aspect so prelims if you see year long program if you see so you strategize your prelims for let's say that gs1 gs2 in fact a churning is going on you should know that in this market coaching industry about gs2 means especially csat and you will see in coming time some let's say that the programs related to csat not in our own institution but also in by other institutions because it's a churning going on because csat we cannot treat for i mean take it granted we cannot take it as a supplement thing complement thing rather let's say now it is a full course and when it is a full course let's say that the menu you have to prepare for this so it is not that let's say that easy it is and in fact nowadays it has become 
for you if you want to prepare for prelims or if you want to clear at all prelims the first thought it will come in your mind is called CSAT are you qualifying in CSAT and what are you doing for the CSAT so that you can qualify so <clears throat> you need to go also let's re-strategize yourself because the benefits of this you will not realize you will not rip unless you go through this qualify this and you can feel that regret you can have that this feeling of let's say that pain in you so this but here we'll talk limited what we will say ki when you will plan your year road map it should be for let's say also it should you should draw a map for also throughout year prelims csat and let's say that we call mains related it cannot be separated like see we are also trying to have a, pl a plan on this we are also having churning and we are designing a program which can run let's say not only three months to teach CSAT but also how CSAT throughout the year one can practice so that way let's say it is going to be now let's come to what we are uh, meant for means and again here let's say GS is one then SA is another and lens optional is other. Now, again, we are not trying to talk on GS, but given let's say the challenges, your strategy, I will say in short that, okay, although I have told in the previous video that you should have GS, and in GS, you can study those sections which you have not studied so far. That way, you can align. ASA is not needed to be, let's say, practice much as let's say that you can have few practices of essay that will suffice because your knowledge building in this and this will further enhance your ability to write better so we'll not focus on this more let's come to optional how you can design a roadmap for optional so so that you can uh, approach so let's take this optional strategy optionally related now i know that people those who are from june batch from october batch and let's say even before let's say last year let's say if you take 2021 also let's say uh, june batch october batch and people may not have uh, i will say uh, they will not be clearing this year so for them i will divide two batches let's say okay, one those who were before october batch And one, let's say that those who are October batch 2022. Now I know in this, then I will come to this. In this batch, I know that many people start coming and studying public administration for the sake of prelims. Now for them, let's say that if they need to, they need to study properly because they have not finished their optional. They have not finished their optional, they need to finish their optional. However, you can finish the way you have the whatever the available resource you have, you need to finish it properly. So your focus should be more on this aspect, completing your syllabus, that you can say that. And then going for, let's say that, key. then you have to go for writing tests, other things. But initially you have to give some more time. Some more time you can say that key. initially you can give as of now one, two months you can study optional more so that you can finish those topics which you have not finished. And then you can start your, let's say, plan. Plan for one year, let's say, whatever the time left. Because if you go for, let's say, studying and uh, studying other sections, GS, etc., then it will take lots of time. Probably, let's say that you will reach to a situation that by end of December you will finish. If you go by, let's say, studying those portions you have not studied. So it's better that you take, give at least one more time, or at least minimum one month time and finish first whatever the let's say topics left 
and then draw a map which will talk for this. That should be the strategy. All other students, those who are coming, they did not appear, so they can follow this roadmap for those who are part of uh, the batches before October. They let's say that we have paper one. Paper 2. Already you may have practiced a lot. Still you want to just practice let's say. So we have also designed a year long test program for public administration. Year long test program which has 36 tests. You can take schedule even if you do not join. So 36 tests it will have, 10 tests we have brought, 10 tests every week, sorry 10 questions in one test every week for I guess if I remember 22, 22 tests will be conducted with one chapter, first chapter divided into two parts and each test will have 10 questions so that it is not a burden, people practice it and questions will be more of basic level. Now even if you have studied advanced level, let's say if you want to go by that way, so then you can have test in June, that is how it is going to start for men's and then it will start again in October that or if you want to just be in touch, practice it. So you can go by this, even if you do not want to join, I, my purpose is not to tell you to join this, it depends on you. What the purpose is, ki accordingly you can draw your roadmap. Right. That roadmap can be, let's that ki you study, <laughs> means what the roadmap should be that it should be till January and Feb. Means you should side by side study optional. It, it's not that ki two months we study optional, then you leave it. Rather you have to prepare a roadmap so that ki side by side means you are studying GS, mains, prelims and side by side you study public administration which continue till Jan or Feb. Even you can take to March. If you belong to let's say that ki, uh, old category let's say 2021 batch, 22 batch and you have already done written your tests, <laughs> even some people may have written another cycle of tests. So, which I know that some people have written another cycle of test. So, they are not on the same, let's say that spectrum. They are on different, let's say, spectrum. So, they can have some writing practice. Draw a roadmap from July. June is there. You can draw a roadmap from June itself, but you will wait for the prelims. So largely, let's say it can be from the last week of June to Feb, you can say that at best. And let's say topic wise let's say chapter first you take chapter one revise it and uh, prepare this is the time that you can go for preparing a short note a short note let's say you can prepare which you can be of 150 let's pages that is how we can say i may have burdened you by so many pages so now you can reduce that burden by 150 pages prepare read sub first chapter revise some model answers that we have given and those model answers then let's key prepare your notes write the keywords in that notes only keywords should be written when you are preparing so let's say that you write good governance the good governance it's let's that key you can simply write the context that we say in that context you can write only let's say 1989 report then you can write 1992 then 1997 Seven. context you can say report then you can write features if you are writing features you can write this then you can write positive developments 
So it should be very short, let's say that when you are writing positive developments, negative developments, and in that some key terms, including some good initiative name, good initiatives, this. So that aspect, so good initiative, you can write some indices performance, then you can write negative or criticisms. This negative criticisms way forward some points. So you can see it can be very short. The main thing is that you know this. If you want to also write the memorize definition etc. So you can write at least one working definition. So it should be in one page. Let's say when you are writing, it should be in one page. Maximum put a limit there. Two pages. If you were writing any such theory, let's say that any theory and uh, paper one basically because it is very precise. So paper one you are writing more than two pages. So tell to yourself that you are not making a right note. Yes. So you do side by side this. Side by side you read it. Now it is a time because many rounds of reading you have done. So you understand better. And then you can make this note, then go for practice. Practice tests, so you can practice yourself. Already you have, we have given model answers, two sets of questions. That plus UPSC. You have UPSC questions also. Even some questions we gave while teaching in the class, you know that. We gave you some list of questions. Practice them, even if you know them, you need to practice. Basically, you have to be in practice. And when you practice, even the known question, you will start writing better than what you wrote in past. So, that is how the approach you can adopt, writing this. If you want to be part of any formal such routine, so then you can, let's say, that you join it. And we have given good concession, concession to our foundation batch students. So that way also you can see which will take you these 36 tests will take you to men's let's say men's test series is also included in June 2024. Anyhow still I will not tell because I am not a that way to uh, tell all these things but yes still you can take the schedule you can draw a roadmap accordingly which it will help in drawing a roadmap this. And that is how you should follow chapter wise one by one. Already so many things we have told to you while teaching in class. What should you follow? And that is how you can see. Then nowadays let's say that you can another new uh, innovative way is that you can see the those who are the uh, top rankers and highest uh, marks those who have secured like say ki this year. Uh, 139 rank uh, so Khushbu O'Brien she has got 294 marks then uh, Priyansha Garg I guess she has got 292 marks and similarly Priyanka Goel she has got 292 marks and all the three let's say that ki, girls by the way so all the three girls you know that ki, their copies are there on the website plus past years copies are there you can see that ki how they write and you know what rank 3 when she came to our institute she shared one uh, innovative uh, strategy that ki you can even practice a question written by a, let's say top ranker with highest marks or good marks. So let, you can see Priyanshagar, you can see Priyanka Goyal, you can see Khushbu O'Brien, their copies and the question exactly let's say you can practice them. What they write, their answer, you can also compare your answer. So it's, it's, it's intention is needed, let's say. It's, uh, let's say, ki, uh, what we can say, if you have your, uh, let's say, intention, so there is always a way out. We have to simply find out how we can do that. We have to simply look in, inside ourselves. We don't have to be complaining in nature, regretting in nature. Even let's say, ki, and no need to let's say that you necessarily join this test, I can say. You can have self-practice, you can have self-assessment and there are various ways to have self-assessment. The only rider is risk factor is in this, that we ourselves fail to maintain a self-designed routine. That's why formal 
routine routine comes into picture because it is a human nature that some people are not able to somehow uh, go by self let's say design routine so that should be the road map that ki you design and the 12 for paper one then paper two you already know the overlapping Uh, relations between paper one chapters, paper two chapters. Already you have gone through that, so you know it. The only thing is that you have to design your chart till Feb, and how you'll proceed. In this, basically, we'll say that ki twenty two. So, accordingly, you can also prepare yourself. So we have given twenty two tests as basics. then i guess ki uh, four tests yes four tests which i have said as follet bridge and then we have gone to 10 tests which i say transformational which will start june after june 2024 and this will be going till i guess ki feb from 8 july anyhow so accordingly you can also draw your road map na ki when you are going to complete your syllabus so you can complete your syllabus by let's say that ki we can say this ki called december when you go one by one throughout year taking gs side by side public administration so then you can take let's say that it can go till december then january and feb you can utilize for revision so you can utilize for revision and that is how it is starts thereafter you can completely focus on gs let's say march from march onwards to may you can focus on gs completely and then after this again you can come and become part of this so i guess this is the road map and uh, again i will tell you that those who are not uh, making to uh, 2023 see don't feel anyhow frustrated don't feel anyhow what we have been telling uh, depressed no if you remember elton mayo so experiment was done that is related to fatigue frustration depression because of classical approach so upsc is like classical approach you should know that you are not failing because of yourself rather you are failing because of upsc hence there should not be any self doubt this you should know and uh, this is how part and parcel of society so you can make next year better only by a positive view positive thinking rather than a negative one pt 2023 is a past I made a previous video in which I told that कि रोना धोना बंद करो। So अब now it's a time that कि रोना धोना बंद करो। You know that कि we face lots of shocks in our society, in our life, including let's say कि all if you believe in Krishna philosophy, or if you believe in religious philosophy, so you know that कि one day we have to leave this all. This the Mohamaya किस बात की? so it is a short let's say that ki uh, journey you can say and in this journey let's ki you had quite uh, you can say your uh, aim you can consider or you can say goal consider that ki you wanted to be part of 23 but somehow it is not happening nature has not destined in this way so let's see how the nature has destined and we should go in that way so you should not feel i always tell you should not feel anyhow demotivated the more you feel demotivated and withdrawal and other things the more harm you do yourself i always say also that we are uh, more of uh, we can say that ki uh, we have a fight against ourselves not others and we adopt many a time self defeating approach so go with a positive approach and adopt a road map prepare for public administration as and there are two three things that you should do i will just recapitulate what we uh, means what i have said one that you should start making short notes of one page two pages maximum 
while reading because now second third fourth round of reading you have done this you should do second is that revise it properly read model answers also and try to bring some key terms points good examples so key terms key let's say that key facts good examples try to add in that uh, short note so that you remember it this then write a practice test that practice test can be anything you can take any uh, download any toppers copy and see the question the right answer compare your answer with her answer that way it is you can be part of formal program so that you are in routine discipline so that can be done or let's say that you can have past upsc papers that you can practice self assessment can be done but you do write test and that can be done in let's say spells is short spells you can say that so that we can consider and gradually let's say that you uh, let's say that you move towards let's say that called november december where you finish your syllabus then you revise it again write a test which can be full fledged type you can write our test itself of past again you can write so that way you can test then you finish your this public administration by feb if not by march or mid march and then let's say you can focus completely on prelims this and that is how you can yes uh, it's as we told that it is difficult to meet each and every student as uh, the requests are coming from the students for meeting appointment etc etc so i started this way to communicate and we can further improve our communication and we can know your doubts if you bit if you a bit open up and write in comments that what i need to further address so you can ask let's say that anything that i have left because yes certainly let's say so many things uh, may be in your mind questions etc so you can write comments in that comments you can ask the, those questions okay, what the doubts you have what the problems you are facing as i am personally also let's say getting involved in this and i also try to at times reply personally in comments so you can write it as long as i can manage my time i can reply and we can have that way let's say communication and that is how we can proceed and that is how we can help each other so enjoy your life all the best